Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to all of you. It is a. I am very proud to be here opening this event, which is very important for us. So first, I would like to welcome you. We have several countries here, not only Colombia, but several countries. We have people from Brazil. Thank you, Jorge and Angelo, for joining us here. We also have people from Panama, Costa Rica. We also have people from Ecuador as well. We have people from Ecuador, uh, and they have not arrived. And of course, we want to welcome our trainers uh, who will be joining us this week. They're all coming from Franco, from the U.S. We have Matt here that will uh, we have Dante, we have John, and we also have the marketing uh, lady, Elise, uh, who will be helping us uh, today here. And of course, I, will, I want to express uh, our, uh, our gratitude to Tranco for their support uh, in joining us here. With Tranco, you, you know very well that we have been working for more than 15 years. We are the leaders uh, with the booking more brand in Latin America. However, we have decided to um, to to standardize the Tranco Latin America brand. Uh, you, we had uh, some serious uh, logistics uh, problems in terms of product uh, delivery, but we have the the support needed in order to uh, achieve a better production capacity. We're going to go ahead and produce in Brazil in our company. In in so therefore the the logistics problem that we've experienced in Tenko, they're uh, behind. So we decided to provide uh, better support in terms of the relation of uh, Tenko. We are the representatives in, in Latin America of Tenko, and we're going to be relaunching. So this training is part of this. So we ex uh, thank you, Tenko, for being here. We have four persons uh, who will be joining us this week uh, in this technical support, uh, in the technical training. Before we move on, I want to uh, give you a brief uh, corporate overview. Uh, let's uh, remember that this is a, a part of the RPM group. We are a group, an economic group of five billion dollars, more than 13,000 employees. I am very pleased to, to tell you that the CEO, that the CEO of RPM, Frank Sullivan, he has decided to join us uh, on May 4th. Uh, when we when we uh, open our new plant uh, in, in very close to Bogota in Tocantinsipa, so this is perhaps the most important project that uh, that Ukraine is uh, carrying out, and that's why RPM uh, they've decided to capitalize this company. This company, uh, so uh, this one is coming uh, direct. Uh, so he's, the CEO is coming to to the to the launching of the new plant on May 4th, and uh, we will let you the let you know the detail about the details details later on. So in fact, we want to remind you the fundamental principles of the strategy and the company values, uh, which uh, begin from the famous uh, phrase of our founder, Mr. Sullivan, uh, the, the grandfather of the current CEO, who basically developed his whole company from a very small operation to a multinational company um, on this contract or engage the best uh, person you can find, create the right environment for this person, and then let this person work. So this concept, basically, uh, which was brought first to the employees and then to the companies that we have acquired, this is the core uh, element to uh, where we have, uh, or we, uh, which are the grounds of the of the company. Uh, so that's why we normally, uh, when we do the presentations in Colombia,
and they were always showing this, which is uh, actually the basis of the company. So we're very proud of, in terms of the people that we have here, the group of distributors that we have here, because because we apply the same principles to the to the uh, to the providers. You find you need to find the best. You need to serve uh, the provided the provider well, and then let this person work in order to grow together. This is her parent company in um, um, Medina, Ohio, very close to to the Cleveland um, Airport. So this is a house, a very nice, a very nice house. But it's a house. It was the house of the of the grandfather, the and that's where the parent company is. It's very specific to look at an organization of more than 13,000 employees, five billion dollars, more than 90 companies. Uh, with with the, with this house as, as the the parent company, so there's a very strategic value. It is not that this is such a nice house, but in in uh, regardless of how big the house, uh, you cannot f you cannot bring more than 60 or 65 persons. So the holding of 13,000 employees only has uh, 65 persons. So in other words, the operations we have we're very autonomous in terms of operations, and we can keep on being autonomous because. 65 persons could not be involved in all the different companies. So this is a, a very important example because we were uh, bought 25 years ago, and many of the company of the persons here we were coming from the former company, and we uh, we have been allowed to grow the company within uh, following the same criteria. So this is the current group today. This is uh, a five billion dollar organization divided into three large groups. The consumer part, which are the products that are mainly located in the in the Sodimac type, in the in the Home Depot uh, stores, where we have companies that, that where we have talks, I mean, uh, like in the case of Bruce Tall and Medap, and, and many of the companies that are there incorporated within those groups. So we also have this the industrial group where we belong. We are within this industrial group, uh, representing 50 51 percent of the sales of the company. And this group, which was created a year, a year and a half ago, which is the group of uh, specialties where we have other uh, company groups. So this is the Euclid group within the large uh, group, RPM group. You can see that we have the different companies that belong to to Toxin, the Euclid, Betum, Inkly, Cabin, other companies that, we, that you can see here. So this uh, this is quite significant in terms of the investments and the strategy of RPM. In 2002, when Frank Sullivan, the current CEO, took uh, took over the company as CEO, at that time uh, the sales of the RPM group 90% uh, were made in North America, North America, including uh, U.S. and Canada, because our geography uh, in our geography. Mexico is part of Latin America, not North America. So that represented uh, at, at Mr. Sullivan at some point in time. He said, well, we cannot say that we're a multinational company. We can say that we are a North American company with some businesses outside North America. So these cannot remain like that. So in 2002, uh, there was a very significant growth in, in 2002, 2008, 2010 in Europe and then in 2010 there was a very important growth in Latin America. As you can see here in 2005 uh, the sales of the group in Latin America were only 42 mil million dollars. In 2015 there were uh, 216 million dollars. That's uh, represented 1% of the group uh, to become 5.5 and then it became 10% of the size of the group in 2020. So that uh, across, that uh, significant growth has brought us here because we can have a, an organic growth. We can sell more products of uh, UK and product, uh, products in Colombia, but through our acquisitions, which is another way um, for the group to grow. The, the, uh, this is an organ organic growth uh, through the different acquisitions. 
I wanted to highlight this here because the group is, is actually investing quite significantly in Latin America. The toxin plant that we're about to to open in, in Tocancipá, when we sent uh, the study, uh, we never asked uh, them to capitalize the company. We had a, a loan as part of the investment. If without requesting this, uh, we had we saw the decision of RPM to make sure that the, all the the capital that we had in uh, to capitalize. So RPM uh, invested all the money because uh, they believe in Colombia. Sometimes, uh, sometimes uh, uh, foreign people believe more in Colombia than ourselves, and they believe in Latin America. So that's a very uh, good vote of trust to the Toximan team to uh, invest this type of uh, amount in the company. Uh, perhaps you may have seen some news about the Euclid group. The Euclid group, as I'm going to show you later on, this is the, this includes three companies. All of them are within the Euclid uh, group. The Euclid group, uh, where we belong to, we've been on the Colombian market for 25 years. But this is a company, especially in industrial floors, uh, epoxy floors, mainly for the food industry, the pharmaceutical industry. And uh, there's a third company, which is RPM Belgium Mendes, with a series of products that we are already analyzing and studying. So we're going to have a uh, first uh, technical knowledge in February about these new products so that we can complete our portfolio. Those three companies, RPM Belgium, that's what we currently call the new uh, Euclid group, which is the for these the three companies uh, that I've been mentioning before, this is the logo that we will be using for corporate purposes, for presentation purposes, uh, but there's no doubt that we will keep on uh, managing the brands that you are familiar with. We're not going to change uh, the brand. Uh, we're going to keep on maintaining the brands of our companies, but under this uh, corporation, the message of uh, Euclid Group will be that we are uh, comprised of these three companies with a vision to become a one a billion uh, dollar company by 2020. So this is the history of Euclid. I'm not going to stop uh, here, but I just want to remind you that you are working with Euclid as uh, uh, distributors. This, is, uh, this company has been on the market for 106 years. Uh, uh, there is a huge portfolio of uh, products that uh, is basically uh, uh, support supporting uh, the clients. So the company was founded in 1910. In 1984, it was bought by the RPM group. Then um, for seven, there, were, there was a period of seven years. We were partners with a uh, holding with with the same group, we were partners for, for quite some uh, few years. And then in 1992, the Euclid Group uh, did its first important negotiation in Latin America to buy a toxin in Colombia. So for the, we have to celebrate in November of this year, uh, we it's going to be our 25th uh, year uh, where we became part of the fiberglass group. And then the group has uh, made quite significant investments in Latin America. When I uh, became familiar with the company back in 1992, this was a company that was uh, selling uh, 25 million. We're, we're currently selling more than 600 million US uh, D uh, through the different organic uh, growth. Uh, that applies to the case of Colombia, where we have not done any uh, acquisition after Toxman. The Toxman growth has been organic. Just for you to have an idea, when the company was acquired, uh, the company was selling 800. Uh, thousand dollars per year we're currently selling uh, 38 million because we, because our growth has been outstanding in the Colombian market although the toxin in the group is managing uh, Panama Central America Ecuador yeah. under that uh, organization that is uh, uh, led by Marcelo uh, so our development uh, group we are very proud we have research centers in each country however this is the 
the uh, the feather of all the different centers. We have more than a lab. We have like live like five labs. Uh, just uh, to give you some information, I went uh, with the Samex people to do a presentation uh, from the technological center. They were uh, becoming familiar with their labs, and then at the end, uh, two of them said that not only that uh, that they were quite impressed over uh, the quality of our lab, they thought that it was uh, smaller. The just app, they said, well, Osvaldo, this concrete center is better than the one compared to the one that we have in Monterrey. So we have a lot of million of dollars in terms of equipment, and we also have a lot of years of experience with all that our scientists who are investigating new technologies in our Cleveland uh, lab. Photography. We have two of the of the two of the top uh, of uh, uh, five photographers. Or they work for us in Cleveland, in our country. We have, as we believe, in the training programs, the best tool, our best marketing tool, is training. So that's why we invest a lot in training, and that's why we appreciate um, your attending to these the three new days. This is the. New Euclid Group. Uh, this is our business, our operations. It is important for you to know uh, our location or where we are located in Latin America. We have Costa Rica and Panama with sales offices. We have uh, our commercial directors here in these two countries. Colombia with our two plants. So we are in Ecuador, Peru, Chile, and we're in Brazil as well. So we have uh, a very significant coverage. Uh, those of you 20 years ago, we, we were not, uh, we, we hardly had a presence in Latin America, and and I think that we're going to become the, the, the second player here, or the second company within our, our industry, with, uh, and we're, we will become uh, number two in Latin America. Uh, our mission is to search a global expansion through the sustained development within our people. Our people are always first, before technology, before any other product we have. We'll, we we'll always believe in our people. Our group, our vision as a Euclid group is to become um, the leaders in, in the construction industry. These are our corporate values. The, these did not change with the merger of the new Euclid group. Euclid is committed through investment and service to to responsible um, uh, actions in the Tocancipa plant. I'm sure um, a lot of you will become, will, uh, will get to know this plant. Uh, Twenty percent of the investment, which is quite uh, significant, has to do with uh, with environment and employee protection. The elements that we will have uh, for fire protection, not only our employees but uh, the community, they are they go through. Uh, they they exceed the regulations in the Colombian government. So we believe in this, and but we say that we believe in the community. This is not just a nice uh, speech. We're talking about more than 2.5 billion dollars at the plant, uh, only for environment uh, purposes and, and fire protection. Process excellence, integrity. Uh, with so many scandals that you've heard in Colombia and different places, it makes a lot of sense to to stress on on our integrity value. The Euclid Group and all the supporters, they are all professionals, ethical persons, and reliable persons. So we have been, we will uh, keep on being ethical and reliable. Our colleagues. Uh, as you will know, uh, we errors in procedures. We they are affected, and this is part of our learning process. But we have ethical uh, pros problems. We ha we make uh, radical decisions in that regard. A preferred company to work at. Uh, we believe that for our company, the best uh, company to work at should be our company. So we're implementing a problem a program. However, our uh, got the the our colleagues uh, from. Chile, um, they are doing an outstanding job, and all the different companies were all working together to so that we can become the best company to work at. And then prosperity, uh, we we are providing sustained uh, 
uh, growth and, and return on investment, we're not afraid to say that we want to make uh, money because we believe that, that becoming profitable uh, makes allows uh, for the whole company to work, just to make sure that the, the, in the company, if, when we were less than 50 employees, we should be uh, nearly 200 employees, and we want the, they have to be paid well so that you as distributors can also make money with us. We've always said that, that it has to be a win-win business, because if you win and we do not win, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense. You have to win we have to win and and that's a, a, a circle that will allow for prosperity with the uh, social responsibility and we also want to show you uh, this is the history of Toximin a little bit uh, small this is a company of uh, has been on the market for more than uh, 70 years we were part of the fiber glass school and then in 1992 we became part of this group and then we have been growing basically to with uh, our own operations in Central America, Ecuador, and Panama. This is our coverage. Um, uh, this is we are we all, uh, we have uh, national coverage in the market. We are uh, part of this company, so we have offices and services in all the important cities uh, of the country. We are co these are the segments that we're covering: construction companies, uh, developers. But we are also we're uh, in the industry as well with uh, RPM and um, Belgium, with concrete companies, expert in infrastructure. So this is a very, uh, uh, this is a fast growing segment. We also have a division that uh, we started uh, like eight or nine years ago where we have nine or ter ten persons only focused on this, on this segment, uh, which is independent, uh, the main future, uh, which represents the future of Colombia. Innovation in new products. We want to. 30% uh, of our sales uh, should uh, represent uh, 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 less than four years, and that's why the main tool that we're using here are the companies within the RPM group. And and uh, this is uh, this is the fundamental Trenco. We're launching at least today a new product that we want you to embrace, and uh, you should be part of that 30% of it. Innovation. Um, just a few companies uh, worldwide can say that 30% of their sales um, is done with products of less than four years on the market. We have to become world-class companies. Of course, we've uh, had this uh, driver, this uh, support, and this uh, has to do with the RPM group. There's another group, another company, that at some point in time we will show you. 30% of the innovation products. Um, we these are additives. Uh, these are new products on the market. I'm not going to stop here. But in all the different segments, we have innovation products. For uh, we have flow craft. Uh, we have uh, benthonite uh, base uh, systems. It is not. I'm not just talking about one or two products. But in the, all the different product pro portfolios, we have new products that will allow us to have this uh, number. In the last years, uh, these has uh, represented more than 30 percent, 33, 32. So we're um, exceeding uh, the target that we had. Clients, uh, as part of, in terms of the process, we want our clients to be satisfied with us. We want them uh, to challenge us, uh, and, and they should demand from us, but we all should always have a high level of acceptance. Fortunately, in the past uh, four or five years, we have uh, had high indicators in terms of uh, client satisfaction. The company that is uh, Gallup has been doing the, the latest service, and they've always said that we are always uh, among the top five top companies with the highest indicators within 200 or 300 companies.
companies sell for all sorts. Um, so we are among the top four or five. Then they never say number two, one or number two, but we do know that uh, we are among the top five companies with this uh, indicator. Uh, we are always uh, going up or increasing or improving our indicators, and we want you as clients to be satisfied with that. You're the ones who pay for our salary uh, within the company. So sustainable uh, targets to develop high responsibility uh, goals with investments that we're currently doing, reduction in the in the index indicators of uh, concern, and we are per we're working on a permanent basis. Uh, the leading um, the production working hand in hand with our clients in order to, to reduce environmental impact. And uh, as a result of this, we have uh, received for the for two years. Three years, uh, the prize uh, to the uh, to the environmental excellence. When we move, we're going to lose this prize because we're not going to become. We're not going. We're n we're no longer part of uh, Bogota. But in the in the past year, we have received uh, the environmental excellence uh, award by Bogota. Our projects uh, very quickly. Some of you have been engaged in in this project. The the Manuel Murillo Toro Stadium. Uh, we were present uh, in the, the Puente de la Madre Laura project. Um, we, we, we have people who can explain we're very proud of our involvement. The Museum of uh, Modern Art in Medellin, the Fontana uh, Shopping Mall uh, project in Chi. I think that 100 percent of these, 100 uh, percent of these uh, shopping mall was made with us, with our products. Everything uh, was done with us here. We brought people from from uh, all all the member the asphalt uh, was produced by by our products uh, with top quality products in this project and uh, a lot of projects uh, products from Tenko. This is one of the projects that I love to talk about, uh, and 100 percent of this project was made with our products. The Eco Parque Cerro San, del Santísimo Santander project was also with the uh, down. The, the Bogotá Villavicencio Road, we're still working. Uh, this is a project that's not ended. More than 50% of the additives used here were our own products. The La Facenda plant uh, project with Flocret uh, products with uh, the Boulevard uh, project in Bonaventura. These are the products that you can see in the different cities. The, the Bureau uh, 25 project, this is another uh, company, uh, Nullifier. These are uh, paints that are placed on metal just uh, so that in case of fire, there is more uh, time to evacuate so that, uh, so, so that uh, people can leave. Uh, this is a very uh, good technology uh, that we developed in, in England. So we have a lot of projects in general. The, the Panama Channel uh, project, we have just a few projects uh, that we can actually say that we were not involved. Um, I'm going to show you a video so that we can understand uh, what the Euclid group uh, means. And I want to express my gratitude. Thank you or to our Tranco friends for being here. And with this corporate video, I'm going to pass the floor to our instructors.